David Gold McCulloch was an American author, narrator, popular historian, and lecturer. He was a two-time winner of the Pulitzer Prize and the National Book Award and a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the United States' highest civilian award. Born, July 7, 1933, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, United States. Died, August 7, 2022. Spouse, Rosalie Ingram Barnes, M., 1954. Notable Awards, Presidential Medal of Freedom 2006, Pulitzer Prize 1993, 2002, National Book Award 1982. Children, David McCulloch Jr., Dory Lawson, Melissa McDonald. Parents, Christian Hacks McCulloch, Ruth Rankin. May none but honest and wise men ever rule under this roof. I just thank my father and mother, my lucky stars, that I had the advantage of an education in the humanities. History is a guide to navigation in perilous times. History is who we are and why we are the way we are. No harm's done to history by making it something someone would want to read. Every book is a new journey. I never felt I was an expert on a subject as I embarked on a project. First of all, you can make the argument that there's no such thing as the past. Nobody lived in the past. Real success is finding you life work in the work that you love. A, na a nation that forgets its past can function no better than an individual with amnesia. My shorthand answer is that I try to write the kind of book that I would like to read. If I can make it clear and interesting and compelling to me, then I hope maybe it will be for the reader. I love all sides of the work but that doesn't mean it isn't hard. I work very hard on the writing, writing and rewriting and trying to weed out the lumber. To me history ought to be a source of pleasure. It isn't just part of our civic responsibility. To me it's an enlargement of the experience of being alive, just the way literature or art or music is. When I read that the British Army had landed 32,000 troops, and I had realized, not very long before, that Philadelphia only had 30,000 people in it, it practically lifted me out of my chair. The pull, the attraction of history, is in our human nature. What makes us tick? Why do we do what we do? How much is luck the deciding factor? You can't be a full participant in our democracy if you don't know our history. I love Dickens. I love the way he sets a scene. To go back and read Swift and Defoe and Samuel Johnson and Smollett and Pope, all those people we had to read in college English courses, to read them now is to have one of the infinite pleasures in life. There's an awful temptation to just keep on researching. There comes a point where you just have to stop, and start writing. In time I began to understand that it's when you start writing that you really find out what you don't know and need to know. People are so helpful. People will stop what they're doing to show you something, to walk with you through a section of the town, or explain how a suspension bridge really works. When I began, I thought that the way one should work was to do all the research and then write the book. I'm very aware how many distractions the reader has in life today, how many good reasons there are to put the book down.